7.4 Go to university. Go to primary school. Retire. Get divorced. Have children. Get married. Go to secondary school. Separate. 7.4 Go to university. Go to primary school. Retire. Get divorced. Have children. Get married. Go to secondary school. Separate. 7.5 Good evening and welcome to Film of the Week. Tonight we're going to see Sofia Coppola's film Lost in Translation. This film came out in 2003 and it gave the young film director her first Oscar nomination. Before it starts, Anthony, can you tell us a bit about her? Well, of course, as you know, Sophia Coppola is the daughter of Francis Ford Coppola, mm -hmm. so you could say that she was born with a camera in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> she was born in New York in 1971 while her father was making the film The Godfather. And, in fact, she actually appeared in the film. She was the little baby in the baptism scene... Uh... After she left school, she decided to become an actress, but her career as an actress didn't last long. Uh, when her father made The Godfather Part Three, he gave his daughter a part in the film. Uh, she played Mary Corleone, the Godfather's daughter. Mm -hmm. But it was a disaster, and the film critics wrote terrible things about her. So she stopped being an actress, and she went to the California Institute of Art, where she studied fine arts and photography. Then she decided to become a film director. 1999 was a really big year for her. She directed her first film, The Virgin Suicides, and this time the critics thought she was great. She also got married to the film director, Spike Jones, but they separated after a few years. And then, in 2003, she made her next film, which is the one we're going to see now, called Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation was the film which made Sophia Coppola famous, for this film, she became the first American woman to be nominated for an Oscar for Best Director, although she didn't win it. Well, thank you very much, Anthony. And now, let's watch Lost in Translation.